Karate Vapor Keys now has a new home. Alongside being able to use the instrument inside a contact, Vapor Keys now comes in its own enhanced VST version. This version has several new features like the Vapor Dimensions Effects module, brand new Ethos Reverb, additional layer dedicated to synths and pads, and tape and wow emulation all packed into its new design. So let's start this walkthrough by going through some of the presets. Alright, grabbing Vapor Keys right here. That's very dramatic. Let's go lay down some MIDI over here real quick. Ooh. Oh, the phaser on here is so nice. The phaser three right there sounds really good. But there's like a layer, like going up, up like an octave. Like that right there sounds so good. It's like texture in the background for like a, a layer lead. Really good. In fact, get this. Okay, real quick. I'm sorry about this. I do want to test that out very quickly. I think it sounds so full there. It's very atmospheric, a lot of texture going on. Uh, a lot of the frequency range is being filled out. It's with these two presets right here. And you're basically done here. Sorry about that real quick. I really want to try that out, but now we can go over some other presets. I've been really into like 80s sounds recently. It's very synthetic and uh, that sort of like tone. Really, really nice. This preset right here, Organism, is actually one of my favorites in this entire VST. These kind of sounds also work really well as like a background texture. Got a great amount of detune as well, which you can tell with the fine pitch knob over here, which means it's a great time for us to move on over to the features of this plugin and how we can really change things to make them our own. The presets inside of Vapor Keys make it easy for anyone to pick up and use. With a wide variety of sounds, you're sure to find something for any genre of music. But if you are looking to expand and play with some sound design, you're going to need to know all the features and what they do. You can create anything from keys to a bass, a pad, and anything in between, and it could not be easier to get started. So let's go over the features and effects of Vapor Keys. So to check out these features over here, we'll start with a blank slate that we can create our own preset from scratch. First step over here is going to be to pick the sound that you want. That could be a strong choice right there. Oh, it sounds like a really like phased piano. Nice, okay. We'll stick on golden standard for right now, but there's a lot more you can choose from over here. And we can change the volume of this sound. Change the low shelf for the high end over here. We can detune it a little bit with the fine pitch right here. And then change the different octaves over here. So an octave up, an octave all the way down, and neutral. These octave up and octave down features are very important when having two separate instruments over here, which we can pick the second sound down over here. That's perfect, okay? So we've got a lot of mid, high, and high end with the LA Golden Standard. And then the warm over here really helps contrast that and fill out the spectrum. That sounds really dark. Perfect, that sounds really good. And with all the same controls, you can change up the volume, the high shelves, and the fine pitch over here as well. If you wanted that really detuned sound, you could do that like right here. I don't really think it needs a whole lot of detune, maybe just a small amount like right here. Add a little bit more character to it. But now one of the amazing new features of the VST version of Vapor Keys is that on top of these two sounds, you now have a third option for synths and pads. Like, listen to how much that changes the sound. It's a completely different vibe now. The really amazing part about the synths and pads is the longer you hold down the keys, the more it starts to morph into something a little bit different. And now we've got some more modulations over here as well, like tremolo. And wow emulation over here. 
Now, one more thing over here that can really change up your sound is going to be the shape, the ADSR section. Let's try increasing the attack. Okay. Sustain. And release. So that is definitely more on the extreme end. I would not go that high for the sustain. I really like my sounds way more full. And also the transients in this preset are what I think really make it shine. So the attack is going to be a little bit lower as well. Right there. So that is the basis of how to create your own preset, but now we can move on over to the effects over here, which the new version of Vapor Keys includes the Vapor Dimension plugin built straight into the VST. So let's pick out one of these options over here from Chorus or a Phaser, and then down over here you can change up the dry and wet. Try out a different Phaser. I think I like three, phaser three the best, but we've got more than just phasers. Let's try out silk. Echo. Yeah, a lot wider in this one. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then for the reverb, we've got the Ethos Space plugin over here as well, already built into the VST. Whoa. Maybe turning down the, the dry and wet there? Yeah, even on the lower end, it still has a lot of depth to that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay. Just because it's a small, medium, or large reverb does not mean it can be a very extreme effect. Changing up the magnitude and longitude over here can really help change that to give you a bit more subtle effects or really drowned out reverb. And once you find a sound that you like, you can go over to the top right and hit the save button and name it anything you'd like. Getting to know these features and how to use them will make you even more versatile in your production. If you're looking for an easy jump off point or want to experiment with new ideas, look no further than these smart random controls at the bottom of the plugin. Hitting one of these will randomize certain parts of vapor keys like the sound, effects, or reverb. Or try your luck with the surprise button for some truly unique results. Now that we've got a better understanding of the plugin, I think it's time to put it to the test with a few demonstrations. Now real quick, let's lay down some drums for this melody that we created. Maybe like a cymbal crash and I'll call that a day. So that was a track that I made in around 15 minutes with the melody that we created here today. But this next demonstration was made off camera so I could take a bit more time with it. Some of my favorite sounds to use in my production are going to be 80 style synthesizers. And Vapor Keys has a lot of options in this area. So I decided to make a track with a bit more 80s feel using presets like 80s Rewind for the melody, Organism for the counter melody, Vapor Dreams for a different counter melody, and Panic Calm for the bass. And here's how all that sounded. For the last demonstration, I want to make something a bit more chill. Using some of the more lush, warm sounding presets, I want to build out a lo-fi beat. And this one is my favorite out of the three for sure. For the presets, I use Vapor Dreams for the chords, the OG for the melody, Harpsicry for the counter melody, and 80s Rewind for the bass. And here's how the lo-fi beat came out.
So today, I hope I did a good job showing you guys just how versatile Vapor Keys can really be. If you don't have the full version of Contact or are just looking for the enhanced version of this VST, go ahead and pick up your copy of Vapor Keys today.